Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pow World, a open world survival crafting game that's basically just Pokemon with guns, but is a lot more than that. And it has taken the world by storm. Holy crap, there's so many people playing this. So I decided to do uh, my own playthrough of it, but it's going to be a little different. It's going to be a uh, super easy baby mode is what I'm going to call it. So we're going to create a new world here. We're going to call it uh, super easy baby mode. Super easy baby mode island. We're going to do that. Uh, multiplayer is going to be off. We are going to go into some custom settings here. Nighttime speed is going to be all the way up. Daytime speed is going to be all the way down. That way I don't have to uh, go to bed, really. XP rate is going to be outrageous. 20 times XP. Uh, pal capture rate, we're going to bump all the way up to two. Uh, we're going to keep the same amount of pals. Uh, damage from pals. Multiplier. Okay, so I want that to be very low. And then damage to pals, I want to be very... Or I want to keep it at one. Because I did a little um, test run of this. And if I have the damage numbers all the way up, I one-shot anything and everything I try to fucking catch. So it's like I can't catch any pals because they always get one-shot. Which is great. <laughs> but not what I'm looking for today. Um... Uh, how hunger depletion rate, stamina depletion rate, uh, auto health regeneration rate, uh, sleep regeneration rate is going to be a lot. Uh, damage from players. This doesn't really matter. Because uh, I'm not going to be playing in a multiplayer game. Hunger depletion rate, I'm going to take all the way down. Uh, stamina reduction rate, I'm going to take all the way down. Player auto HP regeneration rate, all the way up. Uh, sleep regeneration rate, all the way up. Damage to structures, I'm just going to keep... Uh, I'm just going to put all the way down. Uh, structure deterioration rate, put all the way at zero. Maximum numbers of drop in the world, I think I'm going to keep that as that. Keep that vanilla. Gatherable item multiplier. We're going to go all the way up. Uh, gatherable objects HP multiplier. Tighten that all the way down so that they die quicker. Gatherable objects uh, respawn interval. We're going to put that all the way down so that they respawn faster. Dropped items multiplier. We're just going to put that up to three. Uh, incubation for massive eggs. We're going to bring that all the way down to two i mean i mean zero sorry eggs are gonna be instant uh enable raids we are gonna enable raids uh we're gonna have no drops on death and we're gonna bump this up to 20 pals working at the base so my reasoning for this making a super easy baby mode is that this game i've been playing it a lot with my friends and it takes quite a bit of time to do a lot of stuff and so I decided, you know, I value my time <laughs> and I value your time as a viewer. So we're going to be just speed running it pretty much, but not uh, actual speed run. We're just going to be playing on super easy mode and try to do as much as we can for our looks. I think we're going to go Hatsune Miku here. Uh, and then I also want to <laughs> let's fucking give her just the biggest dumpy dump truck ass and thunder thighs look at that it's amazing i fucking love this okay <laughs> this is our character uh let's go to the voice we're gonna have the deepest voice we can and let's jump right in Oh my god, my thunder thighs. They're beautiful. The towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Oh, it's clipping through. Oh, beautiful. Holy shit. 
<laughs> okay, well, here we are at this nice uh, starting place. Very Breath of the Wild here with that uh, title card right there for the area. And look at all this. You're kidding me. A shiny just spawned? Well, fuck me. All right. I'm going to be speedrunning so I can catch that. Uh, let's f unlock that fast travel point. We'll talk to this guy. A castaway. It's been a while since anyone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. The island is a living hell. This island is a living hell. The people I came with aren't with us any longer. Those damned pals ate every one of them. You be careful out there. Here, take some basic supplies. You'll need to toughen up if you want to survive out here. Okay, so she's going to give us enough to build a primitive workbench. I need to get this going because uh, I need to capture that pal. Holy shit, we're already level four just from building that. Okay, beautiful. This is exactly what I wanted. Just outrageous amounts of experience. Okay, and then we need to uh, pick up some wood. We need to hit the escape button to check the survival guide. This is everything, uh, every tutorial in the game. Uh, open the technology screen from the menu and unlock PAL spheres. So we go right here. We want PAL spheres. And then we need to craft said PAL spheres. We need pal pal paldium and stone. So let's go find us some stone. There's some stone right there. And he is just chilling, huh? I can't believe I got a shiny spawn. I need really need to fucking... I need to get some of this wood quickly. Okay, so there's one Paldium Fragment. That's what we needed for... Okay, I got two. That should be plenty. And I got some ore. I love... She should be able to jump so fucking high, honestly. Okay, let's make a sphere. How many can we make? Just one? Alrighty. Fair enough. Let's get that sphere. And let's fight this shiny. I want my first fucking, first fucking, uh, catch to be a shiny. Fuck you, bitch. Uh-oh. Why is it only doing one damage? Actually, let's just see if we can fucking... 30%. Oof. Shut up, I caught it? Oh my god. Well... Sick as fuck. And he's super good. Oh my god. So now I got this chicken. I need to go find out why I didn't do any damage. Let's actually fight this guy. Oh, he's running away. I'm already too high level for him. Um, Maybe if I sneak up on this chicken. He's level one. Yeah, for some reason I am doing a lot less damage than I should be. So let me go, uh, let me go find out why. Let me return to the menu and check out the settings. So it was probably this damage from player I put at a one. Damage to player. So if I put this at one, that should fix it. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. I need to find... Whoa, there you are. You're level one. God damn it, get back here. Oh my god, I can't fucking catch up these things. Oh yeah, that's much better. Uh, those are the... Those are the numbers we should be seeing. Okay. Good to know. So, uh, open the technology screen from the menu and unlock the pal box so we did the pal box i'm gonna be grabbing everything that we need going forward so we're gonna need a campfire we're gonna need a wooden chest repair bench wooden structures uh we're gonna need the bow and arrows a shoddy bed we need a straw belt straw pal bed we need cloth we need uh common shield a spear cloth outfit a feed box don't need those. Berry plantations we need. Parachute we need. 
And then Pal Gear Workbench. Statue of Power we need. Uh, logging Site. Stone's Pit. Crusher. Uh, we don't need any of the- we need the hot springs, I know. We need a primitive thermos. Three-shot bow would be good. Need nails. That's pretty much all we can unlock right now. We'll go through what that is exactly. Uh, all this stuff we need to have because the, uh, PAL box can be upgraded. We need more wood. So we need- oh, there's just a PAL sphere sitting on the ground right there. Nice. So we need more wood to build the PAL box, which is basically just going to be our PC. Okay, and I also need to build an axe for this. I think I'm just going to build it right here. Honestly, this is a nice flat open place that I think is good. We'll put it right here. Now we need to access the PAL box and put a PAL to your base. Okay, so this is our PC. These are our boxes. We have a 16 of them, which we're going to be filling pretty much. Now we do have this shiny chicken we got. Look at him. He's so big compared to all the other little chickens. Now, uh, use... Open your inventory and use some food when you get hungry. There we ate. You just leveled up. Open your inventory with tab and strengthen your stats. So I am going to be dumping into carry weight here. Just because... Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> uh, we need to capture five lamb balls and earn XP. We need to level up our player by capturing 30 pals and we need to build up our base until level seven so basically this thing if we hit v here we can see we need stuff to upgrade we need to basically have these uh components in order to upgrade our shit so that's why i unlocked all that stuff that we needed so we need to build a wooden chest um Insufficient materials. I need more wood. Okay, I should actually build a workbench so that I can build a. Um, I don't know where my big chicken went. Weird. Actually, build need to build an axe. Oh yeah, that's good. Good there. And I need more wood, which is good because I just made the axe. So now I should be able to get wood faster. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, that should be enough wood. I uh, made the numbers go up a lot. So we need... More fiber, but we have enough for the at stone pickaxe. Okay. Um, we can make a stone spear and we can make the old bow. I think I'll make the bow first. Well, can I even make arrows? I can. So we'll make the bow and we'll have our first ranged weapon, which is going to be super useful. Because melee in this game, kind of trash, <laughs> if I'm honest. But the gun mechanics and the shooting are actually super fun. Because they're very, uh, they're timed. Let's make as many arrows as we can. We can make four stacks of three. So, the bow actually has a kind of timing to it. Where when you draw back the arrow... Uh, here, I'll show you here. When you draw back the arrow, it'll glint. And if you shoot within that glint, if you shoot while the glint is active, it does massive more damage. It does so much damage. So, we're just going to be making stuff here. I got an arrow coming out of my hand. 
my fucking disgusting looking hands because uh, I fucking made the arms so skinny to make the thighs look even bigger. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, that should be that. Now I'm level 11. Uh, so I need a box. I need a wooden chest and I need five stone to do it. So let's get some more stone. That one attack got me all the stone I needed. That's too funny. Okay, let's make a wooden chest. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, how do I undo the cancel? Okay. Um, so let's just line them up right here, I think. I think I'm just going to line them up. I'll make a couple. Oh, I can't, actually. Oh, well. I'll just make this one for now. Put some wood and some uh, rocks in there for later. And it should be all good. I will put my stone and my wood in there. And fibers and ore. And paldium. Those are pretty much the... Uh, base level components to make shit for. So now that we have a box, we can come over and hit V, and then we can upgrade our base to level 2. So now I need to build a shoddy bed, and the beds have to be inside. So not only do I have to make a foundation and walls, I'm going to build my house a little out of the way here on the edge. Just so I don't... Uh, Get in the way of everything. Let's build a little interior. Oh, I need, uh, I need more wood. Let's get the axe out to do that. This should be plenty of wood right here. This one tree. Oh, whoops. That's a problem. Ain't it? It is. Okay, so I'm going to go into disassembly mode. I'm going to retry that right over here. That's much better. Now let me go to the walls. Oops. Okay. Good, good. Good. Okay, perfect. And then I need a door. Oops. Didn't mean to build that there. Uh, let's open the door. Go into that. Delete it. Then we need to do a bed, which I need wool and wood for. So I need more wood. And wool I get from pals. Not really a um, super important early game to get a bunch of pals. They do help, but later it is like it is a big mechanic of this game obviously but i was just surprised how much mechanics outside of the pals there are you know what i mean like i expected a game like this to be very um we can hit r to just quickly put things in our chest which is awesome so now that i have some arrows Yeah, see? Uh, here, I'll show you the um, the difference in damage. So if I don't do it in the blimp... Oh, that was a crit. See, but it does a little bit less damage. Let's actually catch this chicken. 100% capture rate, of course. And the thing is that you can capture 10 of... Uh, 10 of them and it gives you a bonus XP. So we're going to be harvesting some pallium. We're going to make some more uh, Pokeballs, essentially. Some pal spheres. So we can catch more pals. Actually, want to see how much this drop because this should drop like 10. Oh, it drops way more than that. Good. Now, uh, usually when the pals are in the base, they tend to work and gather the shit up. Blah. They gather stuff. 
But uh, that one in particular, the chicken does not. Um, so it doesn't really matter that he's here. I'm actually going to put him in my party and put this guy away. I might as well level him up. Um, so what do we need again? We need a bed. So we need wool. I still need one wool. But I wanted to make pal spheres. That's right. Uh, so I can actually make a shield now too, but I don't really need it. Um, let's just get some pal spheres going. We'll do that. I will capture, uh, oh, well, I gotta get one at least. Uh, I'm gonna capture the cat. Actually, I'll do two just in case I fuck it up. Uh, I'll capture the cat and he should be able to make them. So I need a cat. There's a cat. Ah, uh, there's one on my way. He's level three. I'm coming to get you, boy. Gotcha, bitch. All right. So that's going to capture. He's a coward, so he's probably not good in combat. But what's cool about... Uh, I will explain here in a second. The Pokemon all have their own... Oh, look at that. Lambo. And I got that one, too. Okay, cool. So each of the Pokemon, the pals, have... Uh, you'll see them, like, lined up right here, these little icons. And basically that tells you what they do what work they can do at your base. So handiwork is basically like crafting stuff. Transporting is taking materials from one place to another. He can mine and he can gather. And so I want him handicraft. I want him to, uh, he can also handicraft. So I want at least one of them to be working on the pal spheres. Let's see how fast that's going. Oh yeah, that's going nice and fast. Oh, I, I'm out of spheres. I just picked a fight for no reason. And I'm out of arrows. Okay. Anyway. Oh, you also want to pick a fight? Alright, everyone, get back to work. I'll take these two pal spheres so that we're good. Um... So now, let me see what else we need from this tree. We want the metal stuff, but that'll be a while away. Uh, hmm. Medieval medicine we need. Crossbow we've already unlocked. Jesus Christ. Cooler box we need. Pelt armor I want. Okay, so we've got a ways to go. So I'll hold off on that. And I just leveled up for no reason. Uh, so we still need that bed. We got the wool. Now we just need the wood. Son of a bitch. There's wood sitting right here. From all the stuff I destroyed. Okay. So we can build a bed. Uh, let's go right here. They'll help build stuff, too, which actually helps a ton. But I don't think they're going to be able to get in here. Oh, they are. Okay, cool. Um, so, that's just for sleeping through the night. We need uh, pal beds, which means wood, more wood. Because if they don't sleep in a bed, they get super stressed out. And they start gaining injuries. They start... Uh, uh, have eating disorders even like it's insane well, we're just gonna gather up some wood here and we'll build the beds uh, kind of out of the way here I guess I guess I'll start like right here uh <laughs> little jank but nothing bad 
Uh, let's get out of build mode and help these poor fools make their own beds. And see how much time it takes off just from having pals working. Like it's 20 seconds, but then it cuts it down to like five when they're actually in here. Yeah. So let's build a couple of beds. We'll go out and get more pals as soon as he's done making all those pal spheres. And then we'll continue on. We can upgrade our base now that we have the uh, bed, which is amazing. And where's my other cat? Oh, he just went back to going over there and doing that. OK, fine. I don't need you anyway. He's already made fucking 20 of them. Jeez. OK, let's go over here. Upgrade our base. We need a feed box now. I will put the feed box. There it is. I'll put it right. I'll put it on this side since there's berries over here that they can gather. Which is good. And then this is basically they'll get berries, they'll get food, they'll get whatever, and they'll put it in this box and then they will eat from that box. All these berry seeds and wood. Okay. This is a glitch, which I find hilarious, but the timer resets when you put it in a different container, which is hilarious. I don't think it's supposed to work like that, but hey, whatever, all right? Okay, so they already got six berries in there. They're going to eat those when they're hungry. And then what else do we need? We need... Oh, that's it. We just needed that. Build a campfire, build a berry plantation, and then deploy a work pal at your base two out of four. So I need to go out and get more pals. For now, I am going to... Where is the... Where's the plantation? Ah, berry plantation. I'm going to put that over here by the berries. They should come over and help me. Run, 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 run. He's so cute. Look at him. He's trying so hard. I love him. I don't know where that cat went off to. Oh, there he is. He's coming. All right. Now, this is basically uh, we're going to be planting a seed and then we got to water the seeds and then they got to grow. Right. But there are specific pals that do. Where are these guys going? They're picking shit up. Okay. Yeah. It's still a 50% chance of full health. That's insane. Oh, I'm out of arrows. That's right. I can do that. You can fight the big chicken. I'll bonk ya. Oh, ro ruh -ro. He killed him. Oh, well. Uh, so let me go put the one I caught back in the box. And then let me put him there. And then I will have them making... I made all the pal spheres. Now make arrows. You only make two stacks because I'm out of wood. Okay, I will gather more wood. We'll make some more arrows and then we'll go off and venture forth into the unknown. But it's known to me, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm getting a fuck ton of wood, dude. Like, like usually these drop like 20, which is so good. level 15 so he's mining right now I'll pick up that stuff buddy don't you worry hit R to put everything in we need more wood
I mean, not wood. Uh, rocks. Need more rocks. That should be plenty. I'll actually bring you back into the Pokeball. Uh, let's craft more arrows, because I'm going to need... I'm just going to need all the arrows, please. Thank you very much. So he's going to be crafting away. I've got six arrows. I should wait for him to grab more arrows for me. But we're going to be going down here. We're going to be capturing some more pals. we got to get five of these guys, and we've only got two. And then we got to catch five more because the it's basically uh, we get a capture bonus for as many uh, up to 10 that we do and it gives us bonus XP. So that's going to be our way of like leveling pretty much. And there is 111 pals, I believe. Yeah, insane. Actually insane that this game is so well done as it is. I can actually help him so it doesn't double as fast. But I think that's going to call it for the first episode. I think that is a pretty good... We've started a base. We got a foundation. We got dumb truck ass. We got fucking thick ass thighs. <laughs> and we're good. I'm going to be making these arrows. And I will see you in the next one.